Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt, this is Coffee and Makeup, and today I am here to discuss with you the birth control method, the implant, aka Implanon, aka Nexplanon, aka the most effective form of birth control you can get. That's right, according to the CDC, the birth control implant is the most effective form of birth control you can choose out of all of the methods that are available. If you're interested in seeing exactly how they rank, I linked an infographic below from the CDC where you can look at all the different birth control methods and see exactly how effective they are at preventing pregnancy in comparison with each other. So like I said, this video is going to be about the implant, which I have had for over three years now. I got my first birth control implant a little over three years ago and I loved it. I used it for the life of the product and then after it expired after three years, then I had it removed and had a new implant reinserted because I really liked this form of birth control. Now, I have made a previous video about the birth control implant, and in that video, I go into real detail about the mechanism by which the implant works, what kind of hormones are inside the implant, how they work, what the side effects are, and I go into detail about the insertion process. So if you're thinking about getting the implant and you need to know really deep, good information, I recommend you pause this video, go to that video, it'll be the top link in the description box below, and then come back here when you're ready for a bit more information and an update. So like I said earlier, I have had the birth control implant for over three years, and lots of things have changed in my life in those three years. When I first got the implant over three years ago, I was a student, I was living at home in the US, and I didn't have health insurance. And if you're in that position, then I really suggest you do what I did, which is go to your county health department website and either find a phone number for their family planning services or just call up the health department and ask to be connected to the family planning services. And you can discuss with someone there what your options are as far as affording the implant or any other birth control option of your choosing, the pill, etc. They cover a lot of things and they can help to put you in touch with clinics and low cost options. So I actually ended up getting my birth control implant basically for free from a clinic in my area because I was a student, because I didn't have health insurance. Now, when I had that implant removed and reinserted, I was at a way different point in my life. I was working and I had health insurance, so I had to pay some out-of-pocket expenses for my new implant, and that shook out to be about $103.51 out of pocket, which for those of you who are considering switching from the pill to the implant, that's about $2.88 per month. So you can compare that to what you're paying on a monthly or bi-monthly or whatever basis you can convert it and see if that measures up financially of course that's just what I was charged you might be charged something slightly different but that's what you're looking at it's really manageable I mean 288 a month that's pretty cheap that's like one Starbucks drink so <laughs> it's definitely doable as far as price is concerned if you have insurance and if not like I said look for those resources that are available to you a lot of times people have so many resources that they could be using that they just don't know are there just an update on the side effects I still have not experienced really any physical side effects as far as the implant goes. I haven't had any weight gain due to the implant. I haven't had any type of change in my complexion. I haven't had a surge in acne. I haven't had a reduction in acne. Um, just nothing has really happened and I have not had any mood altering effects, no depression or anything as a result of the birth control implant. So really it's been smooth sailing for me. I did experience with the implant and you'll see this if you watch my older video, I had spotting for the first year or so that I got the implant inserted. It was just constant spotting. I would just like go through panty liners, like have like huge boxes of panty liners because it was literally like every day. So that stinks. But the nice thing and the flip side of that is that at a certain point in having the implant, you really won't have periods anymore at all, like nothing. And that feels great. I don't experience cramps. I don't have the bloating. I still sometimes get the mood swings <laughs> that are associated with periods, but nothing else. So that's a really awesome thing about the implant. Now, don't forget that just because you have the birth control implant doesn't mean that you shouldn't or can't use condoms. In fact, there are some 
scenarios where you really should, like if you have a partner that you don't know their STD status or they haven't been tested in a while, or if they've never been tested, you should really be using condoms with that person or those people because you wanna protect yourself from contracting STDs. Also, if you're like me and you're very cautious, you can use condoms in conjunction with the implant just to make the possibility of pregnancy that much infinitesimally smaller. With condoms and pregnancy tests, you can buy these products on Amazon in unmarked boxes if that makes you more comfortable than going to like the drugstore and buying them. And also, if you buy pregnancy tests on Amazon, you can get a big bulk package of 20 or more tests tests and they shake out to be like a dollar a piece which if you've ever bought pregnancy tests anywhere else you can attest to the fact that that's really cheap so when I was younger and I was living with my parents and my family and I didn't want them to know that I was buying these products I would always wait until it was around Christmas time and just tell them guys I'm buying all your Christmas presents online so don't open any of my mail because I don't want you to see your gift and that's when I would like bulk order these things <laughs> So now you guys know my secret and now my mom knows because she watches my channel. Hi mom. <laughs> but yeah, that's an option for you. You just want to make sure if you're sexually active that you're getting these things and protecting yourself regardless of what you need to do. Now if you're worried about the pain during the insertion and the removal process, just don't because it's really not that bad. I liken it to getting a pin prick and really that's all it is because they first prick you and numb the entire site before inserting the implant. So the only thing you'll feel is just a tiny pin prick and then they'll insert it and for the rest of I guess the week or maybe a little bit more there'll be a bruise around the area and it will be tender but it's just a bruise it'll just feel like you've bumped into a table or something. So really <laughs> it's not that painful at all and in fact I would say when compared to any other procedure that you're gonna get at the OBGYN like a pap smear or something it's a lot less uncomfortable than that so it's not painful don't worry it'll be okay so in conclusion I have had this implant for three plus years and I love it as a form of birth control. The reasons why I like it are because it is the most effective form of birth control available. It's long lasting so I don't have to constantly take pills or worry about getting patches. It's reversible and it's quick and easy. The procedure is not painful or difficult like an IUD or any type of other procedure might be. So that's just my two cents. I have had the implant and before that I've used the pill. I haven't tried any other forms of birth control to compare them, but like I said, the implant is the most effective statistically. So whether or not you decide to get the implant, keep exploring all your options. If you are sexually active and you're not ready to have children, then just keep looking until you find the form of birth control that's right for you. And always use condoms for STI protection when need be. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!